In the previous parts, we have covered all about the API resources and also requests. In this part, I'm going to perform the CRAD operation or create, read, update, and delete operation on the tables that remained. So basically on the users table, we created, if you remember from the auth controller, we created this user by using this register method and we register it. And uh, there are some uh, other methods that we need to complete and suppose the uh, getting the user that we have here and uh, we don't have the, what we can say, the uh, update method and also about the categories controller we have only the read method here we are we are able to read the data and if you remember from the last part we are able to send this request and we are getting the categories but how about uh, storing a category or updating a category so these are all remained and we need to perform it creating or performing a CRAD operation in Laravel is really an easy task and you can do it. What I'm going to do is I am going to perform the uh, CRAD operation on category controller and uh, then uh, you can do the rest by your own and also I am going to put this code on the GitHub so you will be, uh, you know, this code will be available to you and you have the full access to it and later on you can read the code in your own pace. So, first of all, in the categories controller, we have already performed the read operation. So here we have a list of all categories. Let me update this uh, uh, documentation so you don't have this error message. So we have the read operation and all the create operation we don't need this one rather what we want is we want to store it so to store uh, the uh, category first of all we need to go to the categories table and here we have this name only because this id is auto incremented and it's going to be created uh, automatically by the sql uh, what we need is this name we need to provide this name so for that what I'm going to do is inside the categories controller, first of all, I'm going to use a validator, a custom validator, because it's really, um, it is not that much complex to use a forum request or a custom request. Rather, rather I want to use the uh, validator class inside the uh, Illuminate support facades. And here we have the make request. We used it, if you remember, inside the auth controller we used it before here and uh, what we want is we want to uh, the request we want the request all keys and we want to pass this array to validate against so we have the name and this name should be required and it is a string and maximum 255 characters so this is our validation and if this validation or this validator fails make sure that use the fails because here you have the fails and failed but fails returns a boolean but failed returns an array so if the validator fails what we want is we want to return a response and this response will have the errors inside it and these errors are basically the validator errors so this validator also provide the errors and we want to pass the status, uh, the status code of 422 or validation failed and if the validation is not failing what we want to we want to return the category that we want to create the category and create uh, it's not created create and uh, also uh, what we want is to pass the request and all the fields and columns to it so this is how you can create the uh, category so to test it what you can do you can go to the postman here inside the postman but make sure first of all if you remember from the previous sessions uh, let me do one thing let me cd to the desktop and uh, 
to the force set we are our force set back in this deer and if i run a php artisan route colon list you have the list of routes and if you see the categories here the categories use the api auth api means this i mean this endpoints should be validated the user should be validated to have access to these endpoints so i'm just going to copy this uh, a barrier token and I'm going to create another what we can say another endpoint and this endpoint is from the category just make sure to store the into the category you have the post method here the method is post and also you have the API lookups category or category dot store and this is calling the app http controllers and category controllers inside the store method so this method should be post and also we need to have the authorization key so the authorization key is the beater token and also we need to provide some data some raw data just make sure to have one thing else here and the content type the content type should be application json because it's going to format it nicely to you and here what you can do is you can pass uh, one thing and you can pass an object here and this object should have only the name so suppose i am going to add a test category here right now we don't have anything so if i'm going to do that and sending this what we are getting is right now not found why not found so we have the api category but this should be api slash lookups and then category if you remember it if it is written here i missed that part it is api lookups category so if i send this one we are getting this part so illuminate this one at fillable property why we are getting this one because there is uh, something called allow mass assignment in the model so we have this category model and what we need to do is we need to add a property a protect protected property or if you just run fillable which is a pro uh, protected uh, property fillable and here inside this array we need to add the name so if I do that and if I run it again we get the category and this category is created with ID 4 and right now if I go to my database and select from the categories we can see we have this test category so this is how you can perform the uh, I mean the create or the storing part of your what we can say the um, an element on an ID that you can store into a database but suppose in the postman we are missing to just adding the name or suppose we are adding this field which is not existed suppose the key and if I try to send it we can see we get this error and the name field is required we are getting this error from this validator so this validator uh, if fails we are just returning this response so we need to provide this name property I mean the name should be there but suppose for the name also if we provide something like 22 or something and sending this data again we are getting the error and this time it is different the name must be a string so we are basically sending a, an integer which is not validated so this is how you can validate your requests so for the update part for the show part also we have this one we can directly put the what we can say we can put the uh, id here and we can send the id suppose if i use it it is a get method so let me show it here we have the uh, get method for the category here uh, it's for the index and also we have something here and this is the get method but this time it requires a category and I mentioned earlier that if I put the ID here suppose the ID 1 or ID 2 I'm going to put it 
automatically this will inject it and will return the ID 2 to us. And this is coming from the, uh, this part, the category part. And suppose if you don't want to auto-inject this part, what you can do, you can pass an ID only. And for that, what you need is, you need to use the category and then find it. Find what? Find the ID and then return it. So this is another way that you can just get the uh, category. But I believe the auto-inject property is really a nice uh, property that you can use. So this is how you can read uh, the specific category. And for the edit part, we don't want this edit because this is mostly used in the Laravel web. And what right now we need is here for the update part, for the update part also we can use the category here directly we can return it and uh, for that we need to validate it first validate our request i need to copy this part even though this is not a good practice to um, what you can say to uh, paste uh, to just repeat yourself uh, but right now i'm going to do it here and later on we can create a function and put this validator there so right now uh, what I'm going to do is first validating and if the validation fails so we are returning if not what we want is we want to return this uh, category so the category that right now it's auto injected here so this category and uh, we want to update it so we have the update and we can use the request all so why we can use the request all because if this the name that you are uh, the keys that you are passing through the data and uh, the the columns inside your database are the same what you can do you can directly put the uh, what we can say the the keys or the request all but suppose you have a convention a convention inside your database which says suppose the category id the category underscore id uh, it is inside uh, your uh, it's suppose it's inside your database and it is requires and coming and suppose this and so this is okay so if as long as this field or the input field is matching with the column inside your database suppose in case of um, opportunities here you have the category id if the input fields that you're passing here inside your validator or inside your request matches the column inside your database th then you can use the request all but if inside the input request inputs you have something like category id and you use the request all this will not work why this will not work because it is completely different this is camel case but inside your database you have something request and rescore id so this is a hint that you need to keep in mind so right now for the update part what you need to do is first of all uh, i am going with the fourth one that we created and i am going to use the put method because if you see here inside the uh, update part we have the put or patch method and also we need to pass an id to auto inject it so we are auto injecting by passing this id and also we are using this put method but right now if i suppose pass this one it will fails because it requires and it must be an, a string and suppose i am writing the uh, test category is updated so this is just a gibberish string and right now we are getting this id one why we are getting this id one because we are just passing the updated one and what we need is to pass i think the all property here so the category all i believe so let me do that and i am getting the error why this is happening we need to pass this uh, okay we need to pass we need to find this category i mean the category that we updated so what we need is return okay we need to directly pass this one return category so let me do it like this i'm not quite sure about it 
yes we are getting the category is updated so directly if you pass it like that so basically what you're getting is the id of this category uh, i mean the uh, sorry update what it does is returning you a boolean i mean the one that you got was that yes this is updated but uh, after updating uh, one day once the update is successful you can just return the update so that's why we are getting this one and if i put some uh, gibberish string here you can see that it is returned back to us and if i go to my database and i just refresh you can see that we have this uh, here inside our database but if i remove it and just put the test category and send it back and go to my database and refresh it you can see we have the test category so this is how uh, you can perform the update operation so the last part which we have is the destroy operation so this destroy or delete operation and for this one also what you can do is just do the category and call the delete part and performing the delete part is not always a good practice and mostly i do not do especially when we have something like this category because we use the category id here inside our uh, most uh, category id inside our uh, opportunities and if we delete the category we will lose the opportunity too and if suppose it is cascade on deleting if it is cascade if not uh, we'll get an error and so an error that this key is used as a foreign key inside the this table and that table so i will not perform the destroy method and it is really easy what you can do is just find the category and perform the destroy method so what you have not the delete you have the destroy destroy method so if i do that uh, let me do it to just demonstrate and uh, I am going to return the category or I'm going to return this one uh, category is successfully deleted so if I do so and if I call the uh, go to the postman and right now I need to call the delete method and uh, this four and if I send it you can see that we have the we have an error too few arguments to the destroy function and we need to make it like this oh gosh why it is not working we need to do it like the delete so let me do it yeah category is successfully deleted so let me check it inside my database and if I suppose check here we can see it is no longer available so this is how you can do it but make sure that you are not working on real data and not deleting the data that you have so I'm just going to comment it out here okay so this was all about the uh, CRAT operation that you can perform for the rest and for the country I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to perform the CRAD operation and I'm going to explain it to you so for the country controller uh, or for the country uh, table what I did uh, first of all if we look at inside the countries table we have name we have font code and we have country code and this ID is auto incremented so inside the countries controller first of all we didn't have this country collection so i create that and uh, it is really easy just uh, write php artisan make resource and uh, country collection as we learned in the previous videos and also i passed all the countries because all the countries are not that much it is like around uh, 172 or 192 countries so this is a really a small amount of data that's why we can uh, use all and we don't need to paginate it so here is our read part and uh, also for the storing part what i did here is first of all uh, as i mentioned in the um, earlier uh, we don't need to uh, what you can say repeat ourselves that's why i created this valid inputs which is a function here and i put it here and it's a private function validate inputs which takes the requests 
and just returning this uh, custom validator and here inside the uh, store we can use that so uh, validate inputs and we are passing this request and if it is fails uh, then what uh, we are doing just returning this response with all the uh, errors so uh, what I need to do is here I missed past request and it's like that so this is how you can uh, do it also creating a custom function to do not repeat yourself even you can uh, further reduce this one and then uh, we just created this country so country create and then all the fields just uh, see here uh, for the uh, validation uh, for the validation if you look at here for the validation we have name phone code and country code in the camel case version but here inside the database we have the name phone and score code and also country code so that's why what we are doing we are not using the request all rather we are extracting all the uh, you know the specific inputs from the uh, request and also assigning it to these uh, values suppose in case of this uh, phone code we are accessing the request phone code which is in camel case and also the same as with the country code and also once this created we need to return it and make sure when you use the create you need to go to the uh, models inside your models here we have the lookups and also the country and we need to add it inside the fillable so what are the fillable part name phone code and country code this is called mass assignable so here we did that part and for the show part we are just uh, returning this country and uh, just I added something else here for the resource part I, I use the country resource so for the country resource what we have is inside our app HTTP resources lookups and country we have this country and as this country is same name or same class name is same as with this app models uh, lookups country we need to alias it with uh, uh, something else I call it as country resource to be more specific and also here what I did is just add it here so new country resource and pass the country and right now what I did if I suppose select from the countries you can see we have this one ID name and uh, phone code and country code so here it is in camel case so uh, if I just return the country here suppose in case if I return this uh, return the country what we have is all um, uh, so, sorry uh, uh, here inside the uh, collection we have I'm uh, talking about the post part sorry I need to just do it again here if I retain it like this if I return the country itself you can see we have the uh, underscore convention here phone code and underscore one but we don't want that what we want is we want something else and that is using the resource as we transformed our response and if I do like this and uh, I change this one as country resource and if I send it you can see right now uh, it's still we are getting that part I think I missed something sorry so here is for our update no we did it for the update part sorry we need to, need to do it for our storing part and we didn't do that so how we can do it we need to store this one inside a variable so I will call it as country and this is equal to this one and right now what we want is return a new country resource and we need to pass this uh, country to it so after doing that let me show it let me just remove this resource and send it back you can see right now we have it in this convention in the uh, camel case convention so sorry for uh, just uh, missing this part and uh, here we have the country first of all we are creating the country and uh, after that we call this resource to transform our country so we are using this resource file as country resource to transform our response and we did the same same thing with the 
uh, update port for the update port first of all validating the inputs and it if it is failing then we are just returning otherwise uh, what we uh, are doing is uh, first of all updating the uh, country and then creating a resource and just returning it so if I uh, go with the uh, this one uh, I think it is there so suppose this one we have the ID as 250 and we have the method as put and if I put it here and just do something like update it and send this you can see we have the output ID 250 and the country is updated so this is also coming with the noise formatted way that we transformed it so this is how we can do it and also lastly we have the delete part and I, as I mentioned earlier I'm not going to do the delete part right now I'm going to just delete this uh, test country that I have added so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the method as delete and I'm passing this ID to, to inject it so if I send it we are getting nothing because we are net returning nothing but if I just select from the countries again and uh, here at the last or oh, let me go there let me find it out and uh, I think it is here so we have wow so it is not there let me check it from the uh, countries table so countries table we have all the inputs we have this test country test country let me delete it 248 and 49 so how we can delete it so let me first of all uncomment this one and delete this uh, two things uh, two, 248 delete it and also 249 so if I do so and if I go to the database and select it you can see right now we don't have those countries so this is how you can do you can perform the CRUD operation on the countries and I am going to just comment out this delete part just make sure about this uh, validation that we created a function here a custom function and also using the resources here so later on we will use this resource a lot okay I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to uh, do it uh, for the opportunities table as well and I'll come back to you for the opportunity controller what we have is for our read method we performed it earlier so we have the opportunity collection and we are passing the opportunity and also we are paginating and to create or to store we are using first of all we are using the opportunity store which is a custom request if you remember from the previous sessions we have created this custom request and also we put it this uh, validations here so all these validations are there and make sure that here for the deadline I have added this date because date time is not existed and also we are using the convention of camel kiss here and inside our opportunity controller first of all we are creating from this opportunity and we are assigning this request values or request inputs to the specific uh, what we can say uh, column or a specific column in, uh, in our database and also if you uh, just go to the opportunity here uh, we add this fillable property and we are adding all the title description category ID and everything that we need to uh, fill because this is a mass assignable and we need to fill that and at the end what we are doing is we are returning a new opportunity resource file so we have this opportunity resource basically this is the resource that we have created in the previous sessions and it is inside the app http resources and opportunity as this name of opportunity is same as the app models opportunity we need to uh, cast it or alias it so we have the opportunity resource and we are just returning and here for the show method also we are returning an opportunity so if we don't do that we are getting uh, we our response is not uh, formatted or transformed nicely for the update part also what we are doing is you know, first of all we are using that opportunity store see how uh, 
flexible this is once you're defining it you can use it anywhere so you're not repeating yourself so first of all we are uh, using this opportunity store and this opportunity store will do all the validation and everything and after that we are just updating first and then returning the opportunity resource with the opportunity updated opportunity and for the delete part what we can do is just we can use this opportunity and call the delete method and as I mentioned earlier so uh, do not perform this delete method on a real data so let me delete this part so the method is delete first of all I'm going to delete it so it's deleted we are not returning any data and right now if I uh, store it suppose the method is post and I'm going to delete this ID and if I send it you can see right now the ID is 302 a different ID and we are getting this nice formatted response and this is why because we are using the uh, opportunity resource or we are using the resource to transform or to format our database so this was all about the CRAD operation and for the uh, opportunity details uh, favorites and question and comments most of the CRAD operations are the same and there is no difference so it is all repeated so I'm not going to waste your time and uh, adding all those things in the video what I'm going to do is as I mentioned earlier I'm going to perform all this CRAD operation and I will clean this project and I will uh, just host it on github and I will share the link with you so in the next video what I'm going to do I'm going to create a github repository and then I will show you how you can create a github repository and how you can upload your code there and how you can collaborate on github so after that you can have the access to this code and you can uh, just uh, go through the code in your own pace and also uh, even you and you can collaborate with me on this code so our uh, Laravel backend part is completely finished and uh, from the uh, upcoming sessions what we are going to do is first of all we need to host this one on uh, github and after that we will start developing our flatter application so thank you for watching and uh, kindly subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified about the upcoming videos.